Hi everyone. Let's look at our cylinder login screen. And the first thing we need to look at is the database that we created. Um, you make up a database in Excess. Um, you'll see the ID, first name, last name, user level. And the user level defines what uh, the user could actually do. The username as they log in and then the password. Um, and the password can be made up of anything, um, any, any number of characters, as long as it'll fit within the database. So we can look at the actual um, um, individual components of the database, and they're there. There's some text and some model numbers and a number for your user level. And then you save your database and make sure that you save it in a location that you know. So that's all we need to do about the database. And then we look at our screen. We'll stop that right now and we'll start the program. And the first thing we do is down here is we actually write the uh, uh, reset for the jog. So it doesn't allow anyone to uh, jog. And we also then write the reset for the teach. And we write the uh, user level to zero so that um, the buttons are inoperative. So we'll continue. And that brings up our main screen. And as you can see, I can't start or do anything until I hit the login button. Once I hit the login button, and it says if uh, the text is uh, login, then what we want to do is we reset the username, reset the password, and then we show uh, page two which is our actual login screen. So we'll continue. And sure enough, it pops up. And we have a username, password, login, and cancel. So if I were to uh, run this right now and just hit login without a username and password, it does, a, it does actually a test and says if the username is equal to, to nothing or the uh, password is equal to nothing, and what we want to do is we want to send a message box and that message box will then come up and say authentication error so let's just run that and sure enough it just says authentication error please complete the required fields so we'll hit ok to that now we'll actually put in a password and we'll log in now it looks at it and those validations are good now. So now we try to connect to our database. We have our connection string. Then we uh, select from the table where our username is equal to that text box we just put in as well as our passwords are the same as what our password that we just put in. And so we open it. We read and so now we set our variables our first one is our first name okay. our user level and now what we're going to do is write the user level into the PLC then what we do is on the main screen we put the we write the button back to log out we actually label that on the main screen as our first name, our last name, and then the user level that we want to display. Then we dis or we set the momentary button one, which is our start button, to true. Then what we do is we test for the level for that user. So if it's level three, which it isn't, level two, which it isn't, but it is level one. So what we want to do then is on the main selector switch we make sure it's false and on the so on the jog and make sure it's false and on the teach we make sure it's false next thing we do is we will then uh, show the main screen and we will hide the login screen and there we have it so now we've remember we changed this to log out we changed this to level one and if I was, I was actually looking at the program, you'll see that the where we keep our level memory levels now at one as well. 
So as soon as we, now we can start our program and our sequence begins to log out. Hit the log out. Now, if the button's equal to login, which it isn't, then what we do is we take our selector switch defaults, selector switch two defaults, our memory button, which is our start, it's faults, as well as our uh, jog selector and our teach selector. We change the uh, label on the button to log in, and then on the label itself on the main page, we say, please log in to operate the um, machine. And then we set our user level back again to zero. We'll continue that. And now we have a login again with the please login to operate the machine. And just to show you on the uh, do more, we have a user level now at zero again. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And for a full printout of the, uh, the PLC program as well as the HMI, visit our website at www.accautomation.ca where you can also download the programs that you're seeing right now.